G'day, it's Pete here, and I'm back for a free day-long tournament. This is an eight-board BBO tournament that you can play by going competitive, then free day-long tournaments or tournaments, and uh, yeah, let's jump straight in, see what we can do. So, 13 count, balanced hand, so I'll open a club, probably read bit of no trump. Nope. Partner made a takeout double, or negative double, showing both majors, and I've just got a minimum hand with both with hearts, so two hearts it is. And we're playing imps here, um, not match points, so slightly different uh, mentality or psychology going into it. Um, right, well, two diamonds from west, so diamonds are six two. Uh, we got a spade lead. That could be a singleton. Definitely looks like the king, queen of spades are offside, so I've got two spade losers. i got two diamond losers. i got two club losers. i got a heart loser at least. I'm going to stick the jack in. I don't mind if they win and switch. That's all right. And I don't need to win this diamond yet. Find out a bit more about the diamond position. Okay, king, queen, jack, ten, nine, eight sort of stuff in diamonds there. So that solves that issue. Um, so it looks like drawing trumps is now a good idea. So. Okay, they're 4-1. Okay, uh, that's not good at all. I don't think I'm making this. I can rough my diamond loser, and then east is kind of end played. So let's see see what happens here. Okay, spade lead. All right, so that picks that up. Spades are five. Are spades five one? Did, does West have a six five in the minors? Um, at any rate, I guess I hope that the king of clubs is with east. Gives them king, queen of spades, queen, jack. Yeah. I don't have much else to hope for. Well, <laughs> and there we have it. We uh, made this contract. And plus 110. I feel like that will be decent. West had a 6-5 in the minors and mustered up a big, brave 2-diamond call there. That's not what I would expect from a 2-diamond call. Um, can they always beat me? That's the question. I'm always cold. So, spade lead ducked, diamond lead ducked, and a diamond and a 1. So at this stage, ace king of hearts. And when I rough my diamond, ace can pitch a spade, I guess, but then is going to get end played multiple times. So if they don't over rough, I just rough that and exit a heart. And they have to have pitched a spade, so they would only have three spades. So they get to then be end played. Then maybe they come out of club and I go queen of clubs, ace of clubs, and come out a low spade and they're end played again. So they are going to get end played a lot of times, but they certainly made it easy for me. Plus 110. I'll take it. Hopefully that's win about three. But they didn't do anything fancy, so probably not. 13 count. Double. My hand's not great, so I'll just pass. Two outs is like slightly invitational. Like if I've got... Like, yeah. It's sort of like 8 to 11 or something. What does BBO say it is? 9 to 12 points, yeah. Okay, club lead. 9 points in the north hand. Um, 13 in my hand, 22. So 18 points missing. My right hand opponent open, so let's give them 12, which gives West 6. West didn't respond, and they might have on several hands, so maybe it's 13 and 5. Um, all right, let's start with the jack of clubs. Okay. 
So I've still I'm gonna play from the north end. I've got a club loser, a diamond loser, and a couple of spade losers and some heart losers. I might be able to get something away on the spades. I might be able to set up diamonds if the king queen are on the side for another pitch. I'm gonna start by just Okay, nine of hearts, and they covered that with the queen. So I could come out a low heart, hope that hearts are three two with double turn queen jack. I could play a spade, but then I might suffer a rough. A low heart also means that if east does have four hearts, I can still lead a heart up towards my hand. Okay. So West has Queen of Hearts, Jack of Queen of Hearts, Jack of Spades. East has Queen of Clubs, Ace of Hearts. I feel like the extra hearts with the West hand, maybe. Okay, I'll be able to trump their club loser there. I've still got a diamond loser and a spade loser. If spades break 3-3, three, three, I can get rid of the diamond loser. So let's just play a spade up. They're rough, over rough, and they get the diamond trick. All right, making two. Another plus 110. Don't see them that often in these best hand tournaments. I could have pinned the doubleton eight of hearts, so I can make plus one. So some people will do that. Uh, that being said, I got spades right. And other oh, than getting the hearts wrong, I managed to pick the hand okay. Um, it was good of them to cover the nine of hearts with the... Queen. If they played low, then it'll go nine, small, small, jack, and then I can pr probably lead low towards the king, but I'll, I'll lead low and see the queen appear. Anyway, plus one turn. I think that one will be okay. Hopefully, it's win an imp, but uh, I didn't do anything great, so again, maybe not. Uh, ooh. Finally, we get some points. We get to open a strong one no trump. And show four spades. So my partner's got clubs and hearts. My hand is okay. It's not great for slam. Like queen of spades, king jack of diamonds are a bit slow cards. I do like the king queen of hearts and ace jack of clubs. We have a club fit, so that's good. That being said, I think I'm meant to just bid three no trumps, which will sadly be the last of it. How good is six clubs on this hand? Uh, not very. Like on a spade lead, you need the king of spades with east and a diamond guess. Well, like on a spade lead, you need... Playing from north, you need the spade king with east, because otherwise they can lead a spade and beat you. So if East has the King of Spades, then you also, and they don't lead one, then you have to guess the diamonds to throw away your spade. So at best, it's on a finesse. All right, uh, I've got six clubs, three hearts is nine, a spade is 10. Might be able to get an extra heart trick for 11. I could play on a cash king queen of hearts and I could lead a diamond towards my hand. If I guess that, that would be 11. feel like unblocking the hearts is okay. Okay, so hearts are six, four, one, two. Got a spade there. Misguessed the diamonds, but they returned one. Ooh, okay. 
And now check for singleton ace, but, uh, singleton king, but it's not, so they get uh, one more trick. 460. Ooh, the ace queen was offside, so. How good's that? Um, I guess I made an extra trick. It's pretty strange defense by uh, the robot to return a diamond there. I guess they're still hoping to beat it occasionally. I, <laughs> I can't imagine myself leading a diamond towards the jack without that sort of holding. Um, so peculiar, but um, can always make plus two, really. So if I just run all my clubs, do I... Oh, I can catch my spade, run all my clubs and sort of strip squeeze west. They have to hold on to hearts and diamonds, but then I'm out of my entries. So maybe I have to start by running all the clubs and that puts some pressure on the west hand. I feel like I, in theory I can end play them, but uh, I'm happy with 460 here. I feel like I'm up about five to six imps. Hopefully that's about right. 13 count, 4-4 four, four in the majors, start with one heart. The robots always will bid a spade here, so they can't have it. So I don't need to check for having a 4-4 four, four spade fit. If you do rebid one no trump when it can have a four card major, um, then obviously I'd go through some sort of check back. Okay, my partner's got 12 points opposite my 13, so there's 15 points missing. West is a past hand, so they don't have 12. Got a diamond lead. I've got three hearts. Two diamonds is five. A club is six. Might be able to get an extra heart trick is seven. Um, so need to build extra tricks. And it looks like clubs is the best uh, option here. I'm gonna duck the opening lead. Win the second one in the north hand and play a club towards the queen. I don't think I'm making this very often, by the way. Okay, so at this stage, if I get four heart tricks, I'm up to six. I still need three clubs. So... I want them to make... If they misguess... Oh, like, I was thinking I, was... I want them to make a club discard. Okay. That's not promising. It looks like East is a triple four one. No, they've got five clubs. So I lost to the singleton king of clubs. All right. Um, it's time to cash out because we are going down. Oh, what? They just discarded a club, right? Am I? I I've... I'm so confused here. I have to replay this, because, like, I, I missed something. I am clearly, like, the robots did not revoke, but I have no idea what's going on. Anyway, it uh, looks like we're going down two here. Nope, down one. Making. I am so lost. I have absolutely no idea what happened on that hand. What on earth happened? Diamond lead and I ducked. Diamond I won. Club to the queen. Ace of hearts, and they dropped the jack. So I thought hearts were 5-1. Club, they followed. It won't tell me the play. Like, I have to go back and check that video. I have no idea what actually happened there. Like, I'm glad that it's saying that I made this contract. But, did I just witness BBO revoking? That, that was weird. But I'll take my plus 600, because I don't think I can make it at the start.
BBO is having an issue. I want it to tell me double dummy if I can make it, but I feel like I've got four heart tricks. Four hearts, two diamonds is six. I can get an extra spade trick is seven. I can get a club trick is eight. It might be cold. I will take my plus 600, but I have a feeling like this is crashing. It's already telling me I've passed this one in, but uh, I don't believe I will. Got a 13 count, so I'll start with two clubs. And two no trumps. Three no trumps. Does this, ah, uh, this promises six spades, surely. Um, whatever. No. I'm surprised they don't rebid two no trumps here. Uh, heart lead. I've got three spade winners. Two diamonds is five. A heart is six. So it looks like ducking the opening heart lead is good. All right, we got an extra heart trick. They got all wishy washy there. They uh, had a little bath. Um. Okay, so. East is the danger hand because I can push clubs through it, or at least a couple of clubs. I can build... I could... Okay, so spades are 6-0. Okay, they, they definitely played a club here. I'm going to pay attention to see if they still are revoking. Um, I should probably play West for the Queen of Diamonds based on them showing out, but I don't want East to get in to push clubs through. Alright, um, so I can, if I, I've got two more, three more losers, so I can make nine tricks here. My spades are deep loser and I've got two club losers. If I cash my spades and lead a club up, I'm playing east for the ace of clubs. They've got three diamonds and six spades and maybe three hearts. So they could have a singleton club. I'm thinking of coming out the king of clubs and hoping East has double singleton queen or jack of clubs. Let's try it. All right, I think I just lost to the singleton spade on side singleton ace of clubs on side but i think that's reasonably okay for like percentage wise um playing if it east has a singleton there's more singleton queens or jacks than um that but if i like play spade spade and lead a club up how does that go is that like is my play any better i don't know uh if i play spade spade Club up. So spade, spade, I have to find some discards. And I have to discard some clubs. Which means I won't have the timing to do it. No, I think I messed up. I think I should have played spade, spade and left a club up. That's all right. Let's move on to board number six. So this time it's gone three diamonds. And I've got a 12 count. So let's make a takeout double. It's less committal than bidding three spades. Um, at a lower level, I'd obviously bid... Um, wow, my partner's got a good hand. At a lower level, I would have bid my spades and then made a takeout double sort of hand. This one, it's just a double because sometimes partner has like a singleton spade or something like that. So here, we have no spade losers, but we might get some spades roughed. I got a club loser, which I might be able to trump later on, and I have some diamond losers. We didn't get a diamond lead, so West probably has a diamond on her. No guarantee though. And okay, they get a rough. Uh, it's hard to tell if there's any benefit in playing. A heart to the king and a heart out trying to minimize roughs wouldn't have worked on this one um, they've got one more trick 
Plus 140. So the hearts were offside, so I guess we chose well because of how poorly the hearts were going. But our partner definitely is maximum. I, I think three hearts is okay. Um, all their points, except for the Jack of Diamonds, are good. Definitely maximum. If it was any better than this, I'd be bidding game. But uh, I think three hearts is about right. Let's move on to board number seven. This time we've got a 13 count. So one heart. Four clubs. Splinter. I kind of, like, my hand's really, really good for this. Like, I have no wasted points in clubs, and I got 13 points. Let's visualize what sort of hand I need my partner to have. King of diamonds, king, queen of spades, king of hearts. Uh, so, king, queen, king, king. So that's an 11 count where slam's decent. So, let's make a cubid. Right. And we're off to the races. Okay, king, queen, a spit. Okay, so we've got no play here. My partner's hand, kind of garbagey. It's like, I've got queen, fifth spade, king, queen. I've got one key card, so. Uh, what we need is a singleton king of spades to make this. Or baby o to revoke. So let's trump a club. Spade to the ace. And the king of spades was there. Uh, I, sh I should have taken my spade discard first. Um, make sure I didn't go down two. That was pretty silly. Um, but minus 100. Uh, so basically I was thinking if partner had king, queen of spades, king of diamonds, king of hearts. That was an 11 count where slam's decent. If they had the queen of hearts as well, that'd be good. If they had the same hand but with the king of spades instead of the queen of spades, I then like slam's just absolutely lay down. So I think a cubid here is fine. Um, my partner's shown 13 to 16 total points and I've got like they're, they're close if they had the jack like king queen jack fourth diamond I, I don't feel like they have to commit here to bidding key card and bidding slam they, they could cooperate but um, I don't feel like this is a hand that opposite your partner saying hey are you interested you say yeah love it like, you've described your hand pretty well but um, anyway not to be I have been in worse slams though Pass, pass, a diamond. I'm just going to jam four hearts at them here. I'm not worried about having a four card major here. I always want to play in hearts anyway. And diamond lead. Looks like I need hearts 2-2 two, two, or a singleton queen of hearts and spades 3-2. Looks like the singleton queen of hearts came to be. Just unblock the ace of clubs. Just sort of limits their options a little bit more. Okay, spades were three, two. So making 10 tricks uh, should be okay. I think most people will get there. Um, yeah, not much more to that one. Anyway, that was board eight, finished with plus 420. I think this one will be a small positive. Obviously, I'll lose a bunch of imps for six hearts down one. I don't think I was that pushy. I just wanted to cooperate towards slam. My partner just motored on there afterwards. Um, that being said, I do disagree with what the robots think four diamonds is necessarily. But, um, I, I could visualize a hand. It was close. It's tricky to work out, do, do they have the right hand? Um, all right, let's see how we did. <laughs> okay, yeah. So if you look at my results here, it says three no north making. And in this one, it says three no north down two for lose 5.8. So I was still plus five, um, even though it says this. So 
I'm, I'm going to get the video, rewind it, and watch BBO revoking or whatever happened. Um, that was weird. But yeah, uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Let's uh, now check out how everyone else did. So the results are in, and let's see who out of our friendship group actually did well. The winner is Grey M in 202nd place, and then followed closely by PGS58 in 284th, and 42k Runner in 302nd, Steve1998 in 314th. They're all the ones in the top of 1,000, but uh, thanks all for uh, joining and just showing the group. If you want to uh, join this friendship group, all you have to do is add me as a friend, SLIYNK2, and I'll add you back. I play these free day-long tournaments when I'm in Melbourne um, on Thursdays, which is the Wednesday BBO tournament if you want to join, and we can compare. All right, let's have a quick look through these hands. So, uh, basically I lost two imps on two boards. Once when BBO cheated me, and once when I bid to an ambitious slam when I wanted to make a slam try. I don't know what to feel about that. Anyway, uh, two hearts making two wins for imps, because lots of people were going down in this contract, in this cold contract. Then two hearts north making uh, three imps. Some people were plus one, but not that many. And again, lots of people getting to four hearts here. They then invited on this hand, which I think is kind of ridiculous. Uh, you've got a flat 13 count. Your partner's like mildly invitational, but I don't think this hand's worth it at all. Um, then three no trumps plus two for uh, four more imps here. Uh, nothing too challenging about this one. Some people bidding six clubs, which has the king of spades on side, but then you also need to guess the diamond suit. So how did they actually do that? So heart lead, they win. They draw trumps. Trumps are 2-2. Two, two. Play a diamond to the jack, and the robots then try cashing their ace. Okay, that, that'll, that'll do it. Then finally, BBO cheating me. How does it reckon I played this hand? So I reckon it went diamond to the queen, diamond back. Club to the queen and king, diamond. I agree with all of this. So heart, and then... Okay, so first of all, I laid down the ace of hearts, and the jack appeared on my right. So the layout of the hearts is different. The layout of the club suit is different. This, like, this is not even the same hand remotely. Like, that this has changed from the video that I had earlier. Like, they, they've shuffled it around. Like, I still think I would have gone down in this, but I feel like I got harshly treated here. All right, some people made it. Let, let's just see how they played it without the uh, revoking. So they won and played a spade to the jack. I think, like, everything about the opponent's hands has basically changed from the earlier video. <laughs> it's just... I can't believe it happened. I, I was in there, I was like, no, like, they didn't revoke. BPO doesn't revoke. And I just thought, like, my mind had exploded. But no, I got cheated of six imps. And I want those six imps back. Anyway, uh, three no making plus four imps. So this one is pretty standard. Um, I got the diamond, so I got four diamond tricks. I, I should have played it. I think I should have crossed over and pulled a club up. So that was bad play on my part. Um, so I should have got five imps. Definitely dumped one there. Then three hearts making on the nose. So here I definitely think making a take up doubles better than uh, bidding three spades. Like at lower levels, I'm more inclined to bid my spades and then make a double. At the higher level, if I misguess and don't hit partner with a spade support, I can easily get doubled. So I want the more flexible option here. I don't get to show my fifth spade at this higher level, but at this low level, I think it's definitely worthwhile to make a takeout double. Then the sixth level, which I tried a little too hard, I guess, but still I can visual, like, if you change that queen of spades to the king, partner would bid the same way, slam would be lay down. So... I don't feel like it's too harshly bid. Also, if you change the Queen of Diamonds and Queen of Spades to the King of Spades, again, 
Nah, it's not quite good enough. But if the Queen of Diamonds to the King of Spades is good enough, King of Diamonds to the King of Spades, that would be good enough. So, King Queen to Five Spades, King Queen to Four Hearts, and I'm home. So there's definitely, I think, slam tries I want to be in it. This hands just didn't quite line up, but lost nine imps there. Then, finally, Four Hearts, uh, making plus two imps. Some people got to play three hearts. So if you overcall one heart, it goes pass, pass, and they reopen with a double, and then you get to compete all the way to three hearts, which then gets doubled. To me, I think a, there's just a practical four heart bid. I don't want my partner passing one heart. I don't expect one heart to get passed out anyway, but I prefer to put pressure on the opponents and just jam them with four hearts straight away. Sometimes they guess wrong and bid too high. Anyway, uh, that was the free day-long tournament. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed watching me get cheated, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.